I really wasn't interested, wasn't looking for the dog man. Uh, it was one of those situations where it showed up and it found me, I didn't find it. My name is Scott Carpenter and I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. I'm a systems administrator for a small software company and I also am an amateur uh, Sasquatch researcher when I have the time. I had just uh, left what people in the research call a feeding station and that is a location where you leave food for the Sasquatch and you attempt to get DNA a hair sample or you attempt to uh, get them on trail camera. And so it was just a regular day for me. I didn't feel anything. Normally with a Sasquatch, if one's in the area, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, you can feel that they're around and there's some tension in the air, some pressure. I had what's called a back trail camera on my shoulder filming behind me and it filmed all the time. And then when I would return home from the research, I would review it. And I was sitting in front of the TV with a laptop in my lap, just kind of scrolling through the footage. When I get to this point and I go by it and I see some movement, I see a dark shape and some movement. And I thought, that's strange. So I back it up and start watching it more slowly. When I slowed it down and started going frame by frame, that's when I actually saw what was back there. And you could see the head movement, it was back and it came forward and it kind of pushed itself through the foliage a little bit. And, uh, and that's when it hit me. Oh my gosh, you know, what is this? At first I was hopeful it was a Sasquatch, but then when I slowed it down and blew it up, it was obviously not a Sasquatch. You could see a visible snout. A Sasquatch is a, is a human hybrid type being that has a flat face just like we do. When this creature kind of leveled off and poked its snout through some foliage, you could visibly see the nostrils opening and closing. I finally actually bought a real program to do video analysis. It would actually allow me to uh, clear it up and uh, denoise it and run some other filters through it. So I blew it up. Then I was able to stabilize and put it in slow motion. There are always going to be critics. They say that, you know, it's just bogus and it's, it's, a, it's a stump or it's, uh, you know, pareidolia or some other uh, visual effect, matrixing, you know, motion of the camera, etc. But there's something there and it's moving. You can actually see the nostril open and close through a cycle of breaths. That was the part to me that was the most convincing. This was an actual living being that was breathing. And then the fear and the realization kicked in that what I was seeing and how close it was. Because I'd never seen a dog man. The first dog man technically I saw was the one I did in the video. There was pictures, of course, and people had fuzzy grainy videos, but it gave me pause cause it, you know, made me realize I'm, you know, I'm vulnerable. I was all alone. This thing could have gotten me literally and done whatever with me and no one would have found me for days and uh, would, would have known what happened to me. It's the first time it sunk in when I was doing research. This is the real deal. There are these things out here and you're in harm's way. If it wanted to, it could have done me some serious harm and I would have never known it was there. <laughs> I did not know this creature was behind me until after I got home. And uh, that's what was really the scariest part is actually reviewing the video and seeing this thing and knowing it was only four or five feet behind you and you know not having a clue it was there. That was, that was pretty terrifying. It took me a couple of weeks to recover from that to, to kind of get my courage up to go back into the woods. And, uh, after that, I always carried a gun uh, because uh, even though nothing happened, uh, it's just the fact that this thing was so close. I've had several experiences with the Sasquatch during my research before this encounter. I had never before encountered a creature like this, a, a dog man.